Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kurushal. So today we are going to learn the acid, bases, and the salts. The tenth standard ka second chapter of the chemistry science. So let's start acid, bases, and salts. So let's start. So going to the deep of the chapter. First we learn the basics of the acids and bases. So let's start. I know you are. So what are acids and what are bases? Salt let be inside. So what are acids and what are bases? Let's see. So in 7th standard or in 8th standard, we already learned the acids and bases that have sour taste and the bitter taste. So we are going to dip in that chapter. So let's start. Difference between means the properties of acids and alkalis. You get confused what are alkali. We are going to learn bases. So the alkali are also called bases. So let's start. Acid. Acid have sour taste and the bases have bitter taste. pH value 7 and pH value 7 means the pH value is greater than 7 in acid and it is smaller than alcohol is means in basis we see this in the next topic so it aside the acids turn blue litmus paper to red means when we put the blue litmus paper into the acid it turns into the blue and when we put red litmus paper into the alkali it turns blue so we can see that means in the acid when we put blue litmus paper it turns red and in basics when we put red litmus paper it turns blue it turns blue so react with bases to form salt and water acid react with bases means acid react with bases and the bases means the alkali react with acid you can see so let's move ahead the difference between acid versus bases so acid are proton donors and electron pair acceptors means the acids donate the proton to the base of but they also gain the two electrons but donate one electron to base means when the acid get two electrons it gain and it have one electron it donates and the base bases are proton acceptors means bases accept the proton accept the proton and acid donate the proton it is very easy so let's move ahead acids are able to increase the h plus ion and bases are able to increase the oh minus ion so this is the most important concept in the world of chemistry of the acids and bases means when the acids have h plus in concentration of aqueous solution means when the acid is uh, reacts in the reaction or in the solution it increases the h plus ions and releases the h plus ions means hydrogen plus ions it is called acid and bases means in the aqueous solution the concentration of oh minus means the hydroxide ion minus so when we put this into solution in the reaction it will be this OH minus. The simple concept is acid H plus and base OH minus. Acids have pH value greater than 7 and bases have pH value smaller than 7. This we are going to learn this in the next video. So let's move ahead. pH value is also important in today daily life. So it is included in the chemistry means acid, bases and salt. Acids turn blue litmus paper into red and bases turn red litmus paper into blue. We already seen. Acid reacts with bases salt to form salts in aqueous media and bases react with acid to form salts in aqueous medium. Acid tastes sour and bases taste very soapy means bitter. 
so let move to the indicators what are these indicators the indicators are very important means how we means how we check it is acid or it is base we already know it is acids are sour and bases are bitter but it is not possible to test it by our tongue it is very harmful to our health so the indicators are used in this concept indicators are the materials which indicate the presence of acid or base in the solution you got it so let's see we already seen the lead litmus paper you can see the blue turns red when acidic solution and the red turns blue in basic solution these are the one type of indicators name is litmus paper and the second type is phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is a liquid used in the laboratories so it is its color is colorless means it have no color and when we put this into acid it remains colorless but when we put into the alkali means in the base it turns pink you can observe this diagram carefully this is the phenolphthalein the second indicator the third indicator is methyl orange means methyl orange color is orange named by a scientist named methyl and it turned red when it put it into acid and it turned yellow when it put it into base we can see, you can see there are lot of means the plus 100 there are indicators but in our portion there are three or four indicators so i am explaining only four what are all factor indicators let's see the all factor indicators chemical substances whose order changes in acidic or basic medium for example onion vanilla clove oil means we can also determine the acid or bases by the order by the olfactory indicators you can see the olfactory indicator it is vanilla essence it is clove oil and the onion these are the olfactory indicators used in acid base reaction let's see some reactions of acids reaction of acids and bases now it is hard topic but important some the reaction of acids and bases which it is that what happens when the acids and bases react so let you can see acid acid plus base is equal to salt plus h2o means when the acid for example when the vinegar plus base for example soap when the vinegar and the soap we rub we mixes it forms a salt plus h2o so you confused why i take vinegar and the baking means soap because the vinegar is one type of acid and soap is the one type of base so it forms salt plus h2o so other example is hci hci is a highly concentrated acid known as hydrochloric acid and the naoh sodium hydroxide it is a base you you can observe here is h and here is oh i already said when it releases h it's called acid and oh base so nacl NaCl plus H2O when the hydrochloric acid and the sodium hydroxide came into reaction it forms sodium chloride means it is a salt and the H2O it is a water so the neutralizes acid and base into the salt and water so simple let move here so the reaction of metal carbonates and the metal hydrogen carbonates with acids so it is the acids in bases it is not possible the metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates because in bases the hydrogen is not present they are present oh means hydroxide so let's see acid plus metal carbon at acid plus metal carbonates or metal hydrogen carbonates is equal to salt plus co2 plus h2o 
यू एल कैन गॉट इट सो मीन्स द एच सी आई प्लस एन एच टू सी ओ थ्री रिलीज एस द एन एस सी एल प्लस सी ओ टू प्लस एच टू यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस रिएक्शन मीन्स वेन द हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड रिएक्ट्स विथ एन एच टू सी ओ थ्री मीन्स मेटल कार्बोनेट्स इट फॉर्म एन एस सी एल मीन्स सॉल्ट प्लस सी ओ टू एंड वॉटर सो लेट सी अदर कंसेप्ट एच सी आई प्लस एन एच सी ओ थ्री फॉर्म्स एन एस सी एल प्लस सी ओ टू प्लस एच टू ओ सो एच सी आई मीन्स हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड रिएक्ट्स विथ एन एच सी ओ थ्री मीन्स मेटल हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट्स वी ऑल्सो सीन एज अ सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट रिएक्ट्स एंड फॉर्म्स एन एस सी एल सॉल्ट प्लस सी ओ टू एंड द वॉटर सो इज सो वन मोर एंड द लास्ट रिएक्शन रिएक्शंस ऑफ मेटल ऑक्साइड विथ एसिड्स एंड नॉन मेटल ऑक्साइड्स विथ बेसिस सो वी कैन सी कॉपर ऑक्साइड प्लस हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड फॉर्म्स कॉपर क्लोराइड प्लस वाटर मीन सॉल्ट एंड वाटर इज द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द रिएक्टेंट आर मेटल ऑक्साइड एंड एसिड इट न्यूट्रलाइज द एसिड्स बाय केमिंग द मेटल एंड इन बेसिस सेम नॉन मेटल ऑक्साइड मीन्स सी ओ टू प्लस सी ए ओ एच टू मीन्स कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड फॉर्म सॉल्ट सी ए सी ओ थ्री एंड एच टू ओ यू कैन सी यर इज द एग्जाम्पल सो थैंक्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट यू लाइक इट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड फॉलो मी एंड शेयर एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो द नेक्स्ट वीडियो रिलीज टुमारो मीन्स आफ्टर सो बाय बाय For more videos like and subscribe mm -hmm.